our this is our national house of red. Uh, the last thing I know, girl will not walk again. The only walk where they get now is to fear and to panic. Every time they sit down, the only thing they are talking about, man, this protest, we boys say they want protest. Every way to stop it is what they are thinking about. But now, watching one of the House of Red members on the floor of the, the, the National Assembly talking about why the protest is not a good move. And I said, watch the video at the verse because. Um, the advice so that they advise Nigerian youths now, I wish they advise themselves this advice when they started. We for not get this problem, but first and foremost, let me show you this watch. Okay, Mr. Speaker, this issue is a critical issue and it's timely for this hollow chamber to discuss this matter. I'm a young man. I'm a product of struggle. Normally, in every struggle, three C is necessary: consultation, confirmation, and comportation. Mr. Speaker, honourable colleagues, I believe, with all honesty, the organisers of the protest, the young people that are calling for the protest, have not put necessary steps to make a confirmation or consultation from the government of the Federation and the government at all level. In that way, Mr. Speaker, calling protest directly to the street will definitely turn down the peace and unity of our dear nation. Mr. Speaker, I'm a comrade. Anytime we are calling for protest, we must consider the atmosphere that we can lead protest and a peaceful protest. Mm. But the present atmosphere was the frustration anybody or every organization that is organizing protest is definitely undermining the peace and unity of our dear country. Mm. It is constitutional to have or to organize protest. But always, you must consider the national interest above individual or group interest. Wait, 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 wait. Because this, this video not invest me, my course here will continue later. Why you people were buying land cruiser just now? When you were buying brand new now, brand new, did you consider the atmosphere of Nigerian economy? Because now you are shouting that any move you must consider the interest of the nation above group interest. But when you were buying cars for your group now, did you consider the national interest of the economy? People, the economy was most diving, hunger was shocking us, fuel price has increased, transport has gone up, salaries remain the same, school fee was being increased. When I say the country don't get money, but you approve money for your personal cars. Did you consider the interest of the Nigerian people? Nah, nah, you don't shock them with the economy now. Nah. They won't move now. Nah. You did tell them to consider the interest. The atmosphere. Did you look at the atmosphere yourself? You telling them now nah, to do consultation before they move. Did you do consultation? The House of Rep and the Senate, did they do consultation when they were approving five billion for years for the president? Did you do that consultation? But like the fear. You know when we wait to happen for Kenya, happen again for Nigeria. Now, now they consider the, uh, now they consider the atmosphere. May we continue, Mr. Speaker? These people that are calling for protest, I believe they don't know what will be the outcome when they go ahead to call for this protest. Mm. You can call for protest, but there is always non-state actors at the back door. Mm. that are waiting to hijack what you think you organize on that peaceful manner. My candid appeal for the young people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a candidly cited on the example of what is currently going in the continent of Africa, that there is a conspiracy of the Western world. Mm. Do not undermine what your action can cause as far as the economic prosperity, 
peace and the progress of your own country. Mr. Speaker, giving a reference, far back 2009, under the ages of African Youth and Student Association, we organized a mega rally in Sudan, trying to showcase what we believe is unacceptable policies across the African country. Okay. Which at the end of the day, the protest turned out to be unpeaceful, and the Sudanese that hosted the protest bear the consequences. Okay. And now, the same issues has been championing in Kenya, the same issues has been championing in, very, in, in many African countries. Okay. Nigerian, always, the case is different. When we started something, we don't know where it is going to be end. Okay. So I call for my fellow young people that, yes, I'm a, a member of opposition extraction, but at this very critical time, it is a matter of dialogue. It is a matter <laughs> of talks. This talk consult before you take a step of confrontation. Okay. My fellow young people understand the situation and allow the policies to strive and see where the necessary way forward. Mr. Okay. Speaker, on this note, I want to once more uh, call on my fellow young people to please exercise one more patience to see where the policies direction of this present administration is heading to before okay. making any further confrontation. Please consult, make confirmation before taking any further confrontation step. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Mr. Speaker, I first of all want to align myself with the previous speakers. And also, Mr. Speaker, I want to make a passionate appeal to Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. We all believe that he has a very good plan for this country. His policies is a long-term plan for this country, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we need a very short-term plan, considering the emergency situation we're in. We're not praying, Mr. Speaker, if we allow this protest to take place or escalate, Mr. Speaker, we don't know where it stops. Mr. Speaker, just now, we caught our salaries. Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal to executive to do so, from Mr. President, to vice president, to ministers, to chief executive officers of MDS and parastatars. Let's all of us cut our salaries, put the money in government copper, provide short-term solutions to this problem, Mr. Speaker. People are hungry outside, Mr. Speaker. Even if it were around to slash the cost of petroleum, revert back the hike of electricity, Mr. Speaker. Provide food, Mr. Speaker, for the people. If we can be able to provide this short-term plans, Mr. Speaker, I believe these young Nigerians will be ready to surrender and decline this planned protest, Mr. Speaker. This is my uh, point, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Um, the the only reason why these guys are talking now. Is because, like he said, they don't know where this protest will lead to. I think they know. They know. They know. Now that place when it's likely to lead to, neither they fear. Because they don't want to see, come on, be careful. That National Assembly go collect. And you know, get one or two of our nation we leak many years ago. Our nation said it that. The day the poor people in Nigeria are tired. That day the rich we own. They are not tired yet. The day the poor people are tired, that day the higher mighty go base. We keep begging you do the right thing. You want to do everything except the right thing. What type of country has not seen money to pay salaries? They are spending 90 billion, 80 billion for people to travel to Mecca. What type of country? Does not see money to pay for subsidy. They are looking for money to buy plane for the president. What type of country? 
has not seen money to fund education. They are looking to build new house for vice president, not be say former went to Duan. What type of country is that? We never eat when they find money to buy Prado and land crews are brand new. One. What type of country is that? I hear now say that they talk, say, make everybody cut their salary, including the president. It's not your salaries we need to cut. How much is your salary? Oh, you think we are stupid? All these people they are still taking us for a fool. You think we are stupid? How, mo how much is your year, year salary? Keep your salary, cut the allowances. Housing allowance, fuel allowance, newspaper allowance, this allowance, that allowance. Cut that one. Keep your salaries. You are saying that people will organize peaceful protests from the front door, uh, not state access to a jacket from the back door. When you will remove this subsidy from the front door, you forgot that poverty was hijacking it from the back door. You people should consult before you take your decisions. Maybe then the youth will consult before they take their decision. I'm not in support of this protest yet. But I love what you have done. At least all of them are not the chic now. 